Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to write a script with an option for an alternate language. Um, for this example, I'm going to have English and Spanish. Um, so to get set up, there's no void in it, um, unless there's something that I'm not aware of. You're going to have to create two versions of each prompt. So what I did is I said for scripts that have alternate uh, languages, the English ones are all going to start with 10,000 and the Spanish ones are all going to start with 20,000 and I'll show you why in a minute here. Um, but I did uh, a little bit of legwork ahead of time and I recorded these three prompts. Um, you're going to have to forgive my Spanish. I do not speak Spanish so I hacked my way through recording the Spanish versions. Obviously in production you're going to want a native speaker or someone who's very fluent to record those for you. But in any case, I recorded, you can see I got three prompts, all starting with 10,000 for the English ones. And then I have the alternate Spanish versions, all starting with 20,000. So here is my flowchart, and I just altered my standard script that I created in earlier videos. And I added a prompt at the top that says, to continue in English, press 1. Para Espanol, presione 2. So if they press 1, what it's going to do is it's going to we'll have a next prompt variable and it will be you know one two or three but it's going to set the next prompt to 1000 or 2000 based on what they use here so it's going to concatenate what the language is plus the next prompt number so then it's also the standard csq id is just going to be um English, but if they press 2, it's going to set the CSQ ID to Spanish, and then you'll assign a Spanish skill to uh, somebody who speaks Espanol. And then if you look down here, uh, the next prompt is going to say prompt 1001, or not, ra rather, prompt 10,001, or prompt 20,001. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this side by side with a script editor and you can see what I mean as I go about. So I got CCX open with my standard script and then I also have my flowchart open here on the right and we can just dive right in. Now um, I see a mistake in my flowchart. Um, I'm actually going to want this to play first of all open or close so that people hear the um, holiday message in their language or the close message in their language. So this isn't quite right. I'm gonna want this prompt 1030 right at the top. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and create that. So under media, I'll go to menu, and I'll go into the properties here, and we'll add a filter, English, look at that one. Uh, Espanol, give that two. Then we need the prompt, let's see, 1030.wav, apply, and okay. So now we have our branches, and so we need to go into what happens at option one. And this is where we're going to have to create our variable. So down here, I'll click the arrow. And then the type is a string, and the name is next prompt, and the value is just uh, it's just an empty string. So for English, we're going to want to set that. So we need to go up to the general folder and grab the set step and the variable we want to choose next prompt and we are going to set that to 100 zero, zero. not 10,000 because we are going to concatenate these so apply and OK so now if they choose English we want to, I'm sorry Espanol rather so all I did was just make things easier. I just copied the the set um, step 
from the English branch and pasted it into the Espanol branch. And so then I'm going to change this to 2000 and click apply. And then there's a, another step that I have to do is set the CSQ ID. See, by default, it's going to go to a, a, an English speaker uh, in the standard CSQ. So I'm not going to change it for the English branch because by default, if it gets down to here, and it hasn't been changed anywhere else, then it's going to go to that queue where it's going to be an English speaker. But for Espanol, I need to change that to um, CSQ ID, and the queue name will be Espanol. Okay, and then the first prompt we were going to change is the one for open hours. So I'm looking at the calendar, and under the business hours branch, I'll expand that, and here's my menu for that. So I'm not going to change what any of them do. I just need to change the prompt. So under prompt, I'm going to change this to next prompt plus string, so quotation marks, one plus string dot wav and hopefully it'll take this and it did. So it, remember it's concatenating, it's not, it's not doing an addition. So what that means is so this is a string that says 1000 plus a string that says 1. So that's going to give us 10,001, not 1001. And then it's going to be plus, plus the dot WAV. So it should be 10,001 dot WAV for the variable. And that's if they chose English. So um, if they chose uh, Spanish, then this is going to be 20,000, or I'm sorry, it's going to be 2,000 plus 1 plus dot WAV, or 20,001 dot WAV. So if I look, it looks like that is everything on this side of the script, but I still need to do the closed and holiday branches. So for holidays, it looks like it's this one right here. And go to properties, prompt, and I'm going to clear this out. So it's uh, next prompt plus two plus dot WAV and apply. So that's it for that one. And then so I can close the holidays branch. And the rest is uh, the closed branch. So that one needs to be three. So I will once again say next prompt plus three plus dot WAV and apply and okay and that is actually it so I'm gonna val do tools validate and I'm going to save and upload that so let's do a reactive script Standard V3, 300 seconds. Okay, and it's Saturday right now. So if this is working correctly, it's going to go through the, the um, calendar, and we are going to try English first, and it's going to say we are currently closed.
please call back during our normal hours of operation, which are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So let's go ahead and give that a try. To continue in English, press 1. Para Espanol, presione 2. Press 1 for English. So you can see down here, next prompt is now set to 1000. Okay, and it's doing it's saying set the next prompt to be next 1000 plus 3. So we should hear this one right here. We are currently closed. Please call back during our normal hours of operation, which are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Goodbye. Okay, so now I'm going to do the exact same thing again, except I'm going to choose <coughs> Spanish. So what I should hear is now this one right here. To continue in English, press 1. And set next prompt, 2000. Actualmente estamos cerrados. Vuelva a llamar durante nuestro horario normal de atención que es de lunes a viernes de 8 a.m. a 5 p.m. Adios. Okay, and uh, so that worked, obviously. Um, now, uh, also, I want to point out that, remember, we were setting the CSQ ID. We were changing that to Spanish, and it did do that, because you can see the, the variable CSQ ID, and now says Espanol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to change the calendar so that we're open on Saturdays, and then we can test the, uh, the open branch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, that has been updated. So now, when I choose English, we should hear this 10,001. Thank you for calling Uptime Network and Voice. To continue in English, press 1. Press 1. Thank you for calling Uptime Network and Voice. Okay. If you have a contract and wish to speak to tech... So that worked. Now I will te test uh, Espanol. To continue in English... I'll press, press 2. One. Gracias por llamar a Uptime Network and Voice. Si tiene un contrato y desea hablar con soporte técnico, presione uno. Si desea hablar con venta. So as you can see, that works. Now I'm going to update the calendar again to pretend it's a holiday to be extra thorough. To continue in English, press 1. one. We are currently closed for the holiday. Please call back during the standard business hours between the 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. So that's what was expected, so that's good. And I will now do it in Spanish. So now I should be hearing this, this one right here. To continue in English, press 1. 
to the Spanish and holidays. Actualmente estamos cerrados por vacaciones. Vuelvo a llamar durante el ratio comercial estándar entre las 8 a.m. y las 5 p.m. So there we go. It worked. Um, so we just created a script that has an alternate language um, and it will also deliver it to a, a, an agent that speaks that alternate um, language. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Um, if there's something else you'd like to, uh, to um, hear about, let me know too. I actually did this because of a request I got. And so thanks for that suggestion. This was a, this was a fun one to do. Um, if you like this video, please hit like, please hit subscribe, please comment, um, and thank you everyone for watching.